A Lexington man is the city's 34th homicide victim of the year. His death hits relatives hard because the person accused of killing him is a member of the family. LEX 18's Lee Searcy looks at what happened and why Lexington is on track to surpass last year's record number of homicides in tonight's Big Story at 6. Just after 8.30 on Thanksgiving night, police cruisers and flashing lights lit up Sandalwood Drive for hours. Eric Sweat's aunt got the awful news this morning. All we know is I got a phone call at 4 o'clock this morning that my nephew was shot and killed and supposedly the stepson did it, so that's all we know. Lynn Miles says her 36-year-old nephew was at home with his girlfriend and several children when Sweat's girlfriend's 17-year-old son got into some sort of argument with Sweat, then came gunfire. The teen is charged with murder. Eric Sweat, now the city's 34th homicide of this year, another victim of gun violence. It's just hard, and I just wish everyone could get together and, and be nicer, just put the guns down, because it's, it's very hard for the family and on both sides. I mean, you know, she lost her boyfriend, her baby's father, then plus her son, you know, is locked up. So it's a loss. It's a double loss. Miles is all too familiar with gun violence in Lexington. My son was shot back in August, but he survived and he's doing well, uh, thank God. But it's just been a hard, very hard year for shot the whole here family. In Lexington? Yes. According to the most recent police data, there have been 12 arrests in the 35 homicides this year. Seven of those victims were 18 years old or younger. Almost all of them the result of gun violence. So many. It's too many. Everybody needs to just put the guns down. It's awful. Her nephew Eric's death means Lexington has now seen as many homicides this year as it did in all of last year. He just lost a brother. Um, we just buried him about a month and a half, two months ago. Um, it's just been a very hard year for the family all around. Um, but Eric was definitely one of the, the good ones in the family. In Lexington, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.